Hi, this is C.L. Brown with my three-point shots from Duke's 90-64 win over Notre Dame. The first shot, three-point shooting. There was a stage where Duke just took over the game or blew out the game where it seemed like everybody was making threes. Even Yavin Delarie stepped behind the three-point line and knocked one down with confidence. Duke as a team was 10 for 22 for the game. They shoot 45% from three-point range. This is a final 14. I will go ahead and say it. The problem has been to consistently get those shots and to consistently make those shots for this team. But when they have nights like tonight, they're going to be extremely hard to beat. My second shot, shifting things over to Notre Dame. Notre Dame is really in the thick of things. They had been playing well. This was their worst loss of the season and their worst loss since earlier in the year, since November. Uh, up until then, they played everyone tough. They'd only lost uh, games. The worst loss they had was a five-point game. I believe that was NC State, 73-68. Everyone else, they played tough, including losing to Virginia by a point, 50-49 in overtime, right before coming into Cameron Indoor Stadium. Mike Bray joked after the game, the Notre Dame head coach, actually I don't think he was joking, but he said the last 10 minutes of this game, because it had gotten out of hand, he spent time talking about setting up Monday's game with North Carolina in South Bend, because at 6-8 in the conference, Notre Dame has to get that one to possibly stay in the hunt for uh, an NCAA at-large bid, definitely to stay in the hunt to try and get uh, at least one bye in the ACC tournament. They're kind of in the middle of the pack with a bunch of teams vying for that right now. So uh, this definitely wasn't a reflection, I don't think, of Notre Dame, how good or bad they were. It's just one of those things where they got swallowed by Cameron in the stadium in the atmosphere. Which brings me to shot number three, Zion Williamson's return. Came in along with some other NBA, former Duke players that are in the NBA, Tyus Jones, brother of Trey Jones was in the crowd. Quinn Cook, point guard, also a teammate of uh, Tyus Jones on the 2015 National Championship team. Both of those guys were back. And Zion comes back midway through the second half. The buzz was crazy. Even as he's making his way to his seat behind the dude bench, even in the middle of the game, Coach K gave him a little dap on his way to his seat, which I was very surprised to see just because he's always so locked in. So, uh, it's one of those things, uh, Coach K talked a lot in the post-game presser. He was asked about name, image, and likeness. And if, if uh, the NCAA and the powers that be can get that together to get players paid to a player like Zion, who has expressed multiple times that if there was a way to return to school, he probably would have done it. But you know, he couldn't pass up the money, obviously, at the NBA. Uh, so Coach K had a long, uh, long soliloquy about that in his post-game press conference. You'll have to check that out on cobrownhoops.com. That's going to wrap it up. My three-point shots from the to win over Notre Dame. Please click on those like and subscribe buttons to Seal Brown Hoops YouTube channel.